What's going on, beautiful people of YouTube? Uh, it's Rain Bean. Uh, I'm doing an early pickups video. Typically, I'd wait till next week because I just I released one a day or two ago. Uh, but I got a bunch of stuff in. Me and my wife got back from Tennessee yesterday. We went to Ripley's Aquarium, which was really cool. We got to see some of the cool fish there. And But one, one thing I wanted to do while I was in Tennessee was hit up some of the local thrift shops. And in particular, they had this retro uh, gaming shop called Control Freaks. It had really awesome reviews, and it said that it had really good pricing. So I wanted to check that out for myself because the retro stores that I have here in Asheville are fucking terrible. People charge ridiculous prices for shit around here. Uh, they'll have Super Mario 64 for like 50 bucks. Uh, they think everything that they got there is completely golden. And the few times that I've been in there, they, they, they're always saying that this stuff sells like hotcakes. And I'll see the same stuff in there month after month. And I don't know if, any, if anybody buys this shit. I don't know who the hell can. That's, this is ridiculous pricing. But I'm going to show you some of the cool pickups that I got yesterday. We hit up like five thrift stores. And the, this retro store, I actually I got a good bit because the pricing there was really good. And I got and nothing crazy awesome. Or, you know, it's just common stuff. handful of sports cartridges. But... For the price there, I got to I got to get some good fill. So, uh, anyways, and there is one pickup I got to say that I am unfortunate to say that I opened up and it was I was going to save it for eBay uh, for my eBay unboxing videos. Which you ain't check that series out. Check that out. That's where you know I get all the stuff from the week, the good deals that I find from eBay. Uh, but I saved those for the week and unfortunately I opened one because I thought it was something else. But oh well what can you do so i'll start off with that one uh and what that was is a sealed dual shock 2 controller for the playstation 2 and the reason i got this i paid 25 bucks i think for this and that's that's high for a ps2 controller but it's not for when it's sealed um ps2 controllers are becoming extinct i think every ps2 controller that i get i have to thoroughly test because they are just they're they're shit they're starting to break real bad um or half the controller isn't working. So anytime you get a PS2 controller, check it. for Don't flip it. Make sure you check that thing because it, I don't know what it is. Um, and it's not something that you can easily clean like a Super Nintendo controller. They're just breaking. So, And I don't know if it's something to do with like just the age of it. So, you know, this being sealed, it could still not work. I don't know. But I got a feeling when these things, when people really start catching on that these PS2 controllers aren't working well, these are going to become more extinct and these are going to become pricey. Plus, that's my favorite color for the PS2 controller. Um, so I got that. I wanted to get it now before the price went up, and I got a feeling that it really is. So I wanted to save that for the eBay videos, but I did not. So oh well, we got that out of the way. Uh, one other thing that I got, and I didn't really want to do a full video on it like I did the Zelda book, uh, but I did get Pat Contry's uh, and then the Ultimate Guide to the NES Library. Uh, this is a cool book. I do got to say he did really well with it. Uh, it's high quality. The pictures are great. Um, the only thing that I find. Uh, that I can object to is it's just a lot of the reviews are a little biased, but that's going to be understood with any anything that's uh, you know of this caliber. Uh, it's hard to review anything and not have any bias towards any of it. So, but he he's he's got a good mind to it. Him and Ian did the reviews for a lot of this, and it did really well. Uh, Sixty dollars, a little bit steep on the price, but I think it's well worth it. Um, I don't see the price going down any lower. I mean, it's a good book. Uh, Sixty dollars. That's going to look good in the game room, and I'm going to reference that for if there's a Nintendo game that I'm not familiar with and I don't want to put it in first, I'll, I'll reference that book before I do. But now on to the actual pickups. Um, we'll save the retro store for last. I'll show you what I got. Now the, the thrift stores, it wasn't you know, it wasn't special. It's like any thrift store. It's stuff that's been picked through. And uh, But I did find a few things. Uh, here's number one. For the Wii, you know i got to love my shitty Wii games. We got uh, Evil Under, was that Evil Under Fire, was it? Or Evil Under the Sun, I'm sorry. I paid uh, $1.99 for that. It is complete. The disc is in good condition. Uh, this, I've never seen this Wii game, and I come across a lot of crappy Wii games, and it doesn't look terrible as far as what the back is. Um, I don't know, it's, it's something tells me it reminds me of like Mist or something, but um got that dollar 99 not bad at one thrift store and at the same thrift store this was the only thing that i think i paid high for uh just because i've never seen this out and it was 2.99 uh but it's the awesome bob the builder for playstation uh it's an exclusive for the system uh so you know i'm going to collect it if it's exclusive for playstation anything else i go for another system i believe that's exclusive but that's complete the disc looks great i'm happy about that uh one other thrift store find here uh, actually, I'm going to save that thrift store find for last because I think that's just super awesome. Um, oh, and I will say here is another eBay box that I accidentally opened, but I wanted to play this one soon, so I couldn't wait. Obscure for the PS2. 
Uh, they actually made this for the Wii, but I did want the original for the, the PS2. This looks awesome for good horror. I had the disc only, but what I did is sold the disc. Uh, and it almost cost about the same to get this in the case, which is how I collect PlayStation 2 games. That's another good pickup. Uh, let's go over some of the thrift store uh, awesomeness. Now, i got to tell you, this is, this is the weird shit that happened to me in Tennessee. Um, we had a blast at the aquarium. It was really cool. But I've started, like, people were coughing there. Like, every, everywhere in Tennessee, people were coughing. And it was kind of freaky. You know, I watch a lot of zombie movies, a lot of plague movies. And I just noticed, you know, it's something that kind of caught on my eye. You know, I, I see someone coughing, and I'm like, man, that, that other person was coughing. Maybe there's a sickness going around. And I had to take some, po you know, some packages to the post office uh, when we were all said and done with all this. And uh, I'm in the post office, and I shit you not, there was like eight people in there, and every single one of them was coughing. And I'm sitting here holding these packages in my arm, and I'm like, Fucking, if someone turns, I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna go crazy, and uh, I'm scared to death that I brought home some sickness to North Carolina, uh, some funk from Tennessee. I don't know what was going on, but everybody there was sick, and it kind of scared the shit out of me. I don't like sicknesses, and I don't like plagues or nothing. I'm sure it was just some common cold going around, but it was kind of freaky, you know. It kind of made me think a little bit. Uh, but anyways, the retro store. Uh, first off, we got Disney thing. Now I'm gonna try to remember the price in this, and you'll see why I picked up this. This is a bunch of fodder for me. 99 cents on this. This was actually, yeah, that was 90, 99 cents on that one. It's a cheap game. It's nothing, but it is an exclusive PlayStation. Used the little buzzers, I think, with this one. Uh, but that is one that I did not have. Picked it up for a buck. Uh, these are some sports SNES games, but they were super cheap. I could not argue that. I think for everything that I got there, I paid like 25 bucks for. Uh, 99 cents. Foreman for real. Sports cartridges, I understand it, but they're cheap. Uh, 99 cents or like a buck fifty. We got Bulls versus Blazers. Uh, 4.99. I got Super Putty for the SNES. Decent label, not bad. I've never played that, so I'm gonna have to give that a shot. Uh, we got which I didn't know if I had already, but for 99 cents, I'm not gonna argue. I'll just get it, and if I don't have it, I can you do something with the card. We got John Madden football. Ooh. Uh, we got the old classic Troy Aikman football. Uh, good label. These sports games were super cheap. Uh, for $4.99, we got Porky Pig in the Haunted House. Very cool. I did not have this one. So uh, I got that in the collection. And I got some NES games here. And these were cheap as well, like somewhere between 3 and 5 bucks. Uh, we got Hollywood Squares, which I did not. Now I got, fuck, I don't know, 300, 350 uh, NES games. So it's, I go by memory a lot of times when I'm trying to pick these up. I couldn't remember what I had and what I didn't. Uh, but I know I don't have Hollywood Squares. I would know if I had something that stupid in the damn collection. Uh, we got all pro basketball right there, and this has got a janky label on there, but this was like you know like three bucks. It wasn't much, uh, so that's the one I did not have. And then we have Vegas Dream, and actually, yeah, I don't have that one. I can see over there. All right, so I got that. That was my retro store pickups, which was I was very happy with. It's just cool to see decent. Well, I ain't gonna say decent. There are not too many awesome games in there, but they were they weren't crazy prices. Like the the thrift store that I'm used to. They'd have all star, you know, all whatever, all pro basketball. Let's say this is selling on eBay for nine bucks. Well, they're going to list it at twelve, damn it, because it's convenient for you to go to that store and pick it up. Fuck them. Uh, I'm I'm very happy. If you're ever in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, check out the, the retro store. Uh, Control freaks, very cool. Uh, wear a mask though, because people are fucking changing. It's I don't know what's happening. Uh, now the last thing that I will show you. This was a very cool thrift store find. Um, a little bit high price, maybe, but I wanted it for its obscurity. I've never seen this, and this is just cool to the franchise. I'm a big fan of, uh, of all Grand Theft Autos, especially San Andreas. And now, if you're not familiar with the font that Grand Theft Autos used throughout the years, I think it's the same font that the Price is Right show used. Check it out. I'm, I'm pretty sure on that one. But I saw the font, and I was like, damn, that looks like Grand Theft Auto font. And then I started looking at this closely, and it, apparently it was designed for Grand Theft Auto. It's called the Grand Racing Wheel Street Smart. And I'll try to get this in frame. This is cool as fuck. It's complete. It's got everything. It's got the, the wheel. But apparently this was made. It's got a controller on the steering wheel that you actually use. And then you can drive with it. Uh, it says PS2 Street Smart's wheel design for Grand Theft Auto and other games. But you can tell with that font. I mean, this was made for Grand Theft Auto. This is cool shit. I've never seen this before in my life. And I think that is as cool as fuck. Um, that'll look good displayed. Unfortunately, I do not think I can put it in this fucking tiny ass room. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm cussing a lot today. I'm, I'm, I got a lot, a lot of stuff to do to get done today. 
Uh, but I'm going to put it in my uh, main room, or my bedroom, actually, which is turning into just another game room, just more modern. Like I told you, my plan is of taking all the Wii games out and putting them in there. Uh, I haven't done that yet. But that is cool. 20 bucks is what I paid for that. Now, they do have those listed on eBay for like 60 or 70 So, I mean, I did get a deal. I would have liked to play, pay like 5 or 10 for it. I don't know if it works. I don't know if I'm going to hook that thing up. It looks complicated. It's got some weird plugs with it. But... I think that's cool as hell. Uh, but anyways, I wanted to get this pickups video out of the way because I got to get all this stuff stored and put away and I just didn't want it sitting for a week just adding more stuff to it. And uh, that's kind of what I want to get done. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like button, share it. we are I, I don't know how we're so close to 2,000 subscribers. But we're not quite there yet. We need to get there. But thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. Take it easy. Woo!